a Chicago cop has been charged with murdering his girlfriend. A Chicago police officer been on the job for a few years. Let's put up his picture, okay? Off duty Chicago cop charged in the death of his girlfriend and mother of his baby daughter after she confronted him over claims he had a child with another woman. His name is Pierre Tyler, 29 years of age. He faces one count of first degree murder. Let's put up a picture of his victim, okay? The victim and mother of two, Andres Wolford, 29 years of age herself. She was fatally shot in the head, okay? Now I highlight this story because according to the latest survey on police activity outside of their jobs, which this is one of them. The profession of policing have the highest known violence in relationships, the highest out of any other profession known to man, higher than dope dealers. Okay, let that sink in. All right, let me give you some background. According to the police, Ms. Wolford learned that Tyler um, had a pending child support hearing and told relatives she believed Tyler had secretly married the mother of the other child, Fox reported. On December 8th, Tyler was caught in security footage walking in, uh, in the front door of her apartment unit, police said. Wolford reportedly made calls to family members between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. asking them to pick up her nine month old baby, Ava, from daycare before neighbors heard her and Tyler argue around 7 p.m. according to the police report. Prosecutors said one neighbor reported a loud bang approximately between 8.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. No more arguing was heard after that. Tyler was then caught again in surveillance video leaving the back door of the apartment minutes after 9 p.m. He allegedly carried a gun inside a holster behind his back and a distinct keychain. Wolford was seen using before her keys and cell phone were missing according to the police. Okay, the message from her phone indicated she would soon be at her father's place, place to pick up her baby, but she never arrived. Her parents alerted police who found her inside the front door of the apartment with a gunshot wound to the head. She was still wearing her coat when she was, when she was found by police and there weren't signs of forced entry in the apartment according to the police. Uh, they ruled her death a homicide on Friday. Now doc, I'm glad I have you on the show today because I would like to specifically highlight a reality. Why is it that the policing profession according to recent study shows that individuals who are cops have the highest, the highest amount of domestic violence with family members and others that live inside of their household. And there's another report that suggests even with them having the highest, 90 plus percent go unreported because of who they are. So the number is probably a hundred times higher than what's on the record. Doc, explain this to me. Well, there's a lot going on in this just terrible tragedy. I mean, one of course is as you're suggesting, just the the high stress nature of of policing right now, and and what it means to be someone who is called on to have, be very violent very often in your in your job and then having a hard time turning that off when you get home. So certainly there's an issue here, but I wanna say that there's, I don't know the data all that well, but I would say that there's probably a subset here, which is another high risk group are people with histories of domestic violence. So it's certainly police, but it's not all police, but I would bet that police with histories of domestic complaints, just like anybody with history of domestic complaint should be particularly watched. And the reason I say that is because you know, we talk about gun control as if it's some pie in the sky thing, but states that have tried to enact gun control across the board have said this important fact, a past history of violence, particularly domestic violence is more 
indicative of that, that somebody's going to commit violence again in the future. And so I particularly think that people with histories of domestic complaints, we really should think twice across the board, police or not, whether we want to have those people carrying guns into their homes. And I say that because this is the particular kind of legislation that's been blocked by the NRA, by pro-gun politicians. And as we've seen, particularly during the pandemic, rates of domestic abuse and domestic violence and domestic fights have skyrocketed as we've just basically let the free flow of guns, police and everybody else go into homes where there are you know, predatory partners. Yeah, now I wanna remind everyone uh, that when we see an officer, a cop acting this way in their personal life, don't think that somehow they turn on the morality button in their professional life. If they're willing to do this in their personal life, Think about what more they're willing to do when they are inside of a culture that will typically protect criminality and the violation of others. All right, that's why we highlight them here. We'll continue to follow that story.